All right. So there's a leak behind this wall. Now you need to expose the pipe. The chances are you're going to be under a sink, you're going to be in a closet behind your shower, looking for an access panel. There isn't one. Now you got to get through the wall. You're going to be on your knees, lying on your back, you're reaching around a corner. So let's do that. All right, there we go. Cut a bigger hole than you think you might need. Drywall is easy to repair and we can do that another time. This isn't a skilled piece of labor, but it is a little awkward. All right, there. So here's our, here's our leaking pipe. Super important step. You have to turn your water off and then open up the taps so that the water drains out of the system. You don't want all this water to come spilling out. And second, you can't solder a pipe with water in it. So now the leak is in this fitting. We've got to cut that out. All right, before you actually cut the pipe, you're going to want to clean the pipe. This is emery cloth. So work it back and forth like a burlesque dancer with a boa between her thighs. All the way around. See how shiny that is now? Like a new penny. You want it to look like a new penny. Do the same thing up here because I'm going to cut up here too. And then there's a pipe cutter, the sharp wheel bites into the copper pipe. Now this is basically an adapted medieval torture device. They called them thumb screws. Put them on your thumb like so. Ratchet down the, the screw and squeeze your thumbs until you would confess and renounce your faith or whatever they wanted you to say. But now we use them for this. Back then they didn't have indoor copper plumbing. Maybe that was part of their problem. Anyway, put this around the pipe and tighten it down and then you just spin it and spin it and spin it around the pipe. There we go. This is the end of the pipe that we're keeping. I'm going to cut this away too. I got this kit from burns o -Matic. Pretty much everything you need comes in here, which is great. It's got the, the flux solder, torch, brush, uh, and the flux is formulated for potable water. It's uh, water soluble and it's lead free because you don't want lead in your drinking water and the same goes for, for the solder. I have a special tool for opening these packages. Okay, I made this, which is basically this. This is the piece that, uh, that I cut away out of here using a straight connector, an elbow, and stub of pipe that I cut. I cut two of those stubs. So the whole thing goes together like that fit right in there. A new addition to the set of tools has appeared. Fire extinguisher. We're going to fire up the torch in a minute. You want to have a fire extinguisher standing by. Okay, so flux. Everything gets flux. New piece. Okay. Now I'm going to work this way because the heat is going to want to move up the pipe. This is the solder. So give it a, a hook. I'm going to heat this until I can see the flux boiling. Okay, so that's done. <clears throat> okay, so this is done now. It's cool to the touch, so you clean it up with a rag. Turn the water back on and watch it and see how it performs. You'll know right away if there's a leak, if you did it wrong, or if you didn't address the problem. Water will bead up out of it or squirt out of it pretty much right away. So you don't have to wait a week for it to cure or anything like that. Assuming everything's good, you're done. Now, you have a big hole in the wall. What do you do? Uh, well, there's, a, there's a, a few ways you could address it. You could put a drywall patch in there, and we could do that in another video. You can get an access door that's made actually to fit into an opening like this. You don't have to install it into the framing. It just fits into the opening in the drywall you could do nothing you could just leave it open assuming it's some some place that no one's gonna see it you just leave it open you might want to have access to this area especially if it's 
behind a shower or something like that where you might have problems again in the future. My buddy Rob North would tell you to hang a picture over it. He would hang a picture of himself over it, but I'm not as pretty as Rob. In addition to being a master craftsman, Rob is also a former Marine, so in his honor, I'm gonna put a picture of America's ultimate fighting man. And uh, now your plumbing is repaired and so is your wall. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.